Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Legit. I just want to let you know that this video is brought to you by LockPro. We've teamed up to offer you some of the best protection you can have for the disc locks on your motorbike. LockPro prevents your disc locks from being easily smashed off with a hammer or an angle grinder. So stay tuned because soon we're going to be giving away one for free. Be sure to check out their website and Instagram. Links are down in the description. When a passing cyclist came into Gambia Reek's dealership on Putney Bridge Road in Fulham back in September to tell them that one of their customers' bikes was being stolen, Paul Reeks only had one thought. They aren't getting away with that bike. The bike was an almost new Yamaha T-Max 500 worth £11,000 that Reeks, who was 55, was preparing for an expat customer in Austria. In a statement, he said, It wasn't about the money. The guy is living with cancer and he was really looking forward to getting out on two wheels again. In fact, it was due to be picked up any time that day, which is why it was parked right outside the shop and didn't even have a steering lock on it. It meant it was easy for them to pipe push up the road. The cyclist said they'd gone two roads down and turned left. There was no sign of them, but Paul's local knowledge meant he had a good idea of the route they'd used. So he returned to the shop and set off on a Yamaha YBR125 that was in for a service. Paul says, Now I was on the hunt. I'd seen stuff going off about half a mile away under the railway bridge, so I followed that route. The thieves were using another T-Max and sure enough, both bikes were on the pavement in the shadow of the bridge while the pillion rider used a claw hammer to smash the panels off and try and hotwire the bike. I tried to ram him on the 125 but he jumped out of the way so I circled around him to try and have another go which is when he came at me with the claw hammer. I was lucky I was on the YBR with its great steering radius. If I'd been on a bigger bike, that geezer would have hit me. By now, the following cyclist had caught up to Paul and the commotion meant several other people were gathering around. Four or five builders had heard the commotion and to start to move in towards them too, so the scum decided to do a runner. The damage was limited to £250 for the panels, and the bike has now successfully gone to its rightful owner. In other news, six days ago in Fringebury Park, a moped thief was being chased by a marked police car. When he had a collision with a vehicle, the rider survived the crash with only a broken leg. My thoughts and prayers go out to the car. I'm hoping that it makes a speedy recovery. So till next time, be sure to keep your bikes locked up like a pro. You've been awesome. I've been legit. I'll see you in the next one.